What's going on guys? Got another comic book haul video for you. Got uh, two stacks of book, books here from some dollar sales from some local comic shops here in Louisville over the past few weeks. The first stack is from The Zone. They had a sale a few weeks ago, all their back issues, um, $10 and under basically were a buck a piece and that included a bunch of the new stuff in the variant bins. So went there and have been buying new comics for the past few months so I kind of got um, looks like about half and half new stuff and then half of some uh, back issues that I needed for some runs so I've got some pretty cool stuff so I'll go ahead and get started here this is Scarlet number one this is one of the uh, variants I'm not sure which one it is I think it said one in ten on the back so that might be what it is um, but uh, this is part of that new Energon universe that Robert Kirkman's creating over at um, Image now that he has the, they have the license to all the, uh, the Hasbro properties, um, G.I. Joe and Transformers being uh, chief among those. So they've got a few series going now. I don't have any of the new ones. Um, I've heard, you know, obviously good things about the G.I. Joe the Duke series and the uh, the Transformers series, and uh, I think Cobra Commander has his own series too. So I'll I'll pick those up as I find them cheaper um, than cover price because cover price on these look like they're about five bucks each now. So I, I can wait. They're printing enough of those, so they'll be they'll be cheap eventually. Um, so I got Scarlet number one, and then I got Destro number one too. This is another um, I think it's a one in ten variant, but um, happy to find both of those for a buck each. And let's see some other new stuff. Got a couple of these new Thundercats books. Um, I think IDW still has a license, or no, Dynamite has a license for this. Um, but I picked up one and two from the Zone's last sale, actually. Um, so I picked up number three, four, and five, and they're all the uh, the action figure variants. So I thought that was pretty cool. Got Snarf there and looking like his battle armor or something. That, that's not the Snarf I know, but it is funny. It does see free uh, Mumra action figure by mail. I enjoy that. Uh, so that's number three. Number four here we got Panther on there with his nunchucks. Pretty cool. And then number five we got Chitara with her bow staff. So it's got the uh, Thundertastic action there. So can't go wrong with that. Uh, some older back issues that I picked up. Got some Vampirella. Got this Vengeance of Vampirella number six. Just a cool um, Adam Hughes cover. And then I got number 25, which is, I believe it's the Joe Quesada. And I'll open it up. I'm pretty sure it's a wraparound. And it is, and it is Joe Quesada, and it's shiny foil. So can't go wrong with any of that shiny goodness. And then um, yeah, there's the uh, Joe Quesada. Yeah, Jimmy Palmiotti looks like did the ink. So pretty cool. I love the foils, love the wraparounds. Joe Quesada is the man. So, it's happy to find that one for a buck. And yeah, let's see, got a just a random Transformers issue from Volume 1. This is number 40. I uh, just needed this for my run. Got some Insecticons. I don't know what those, no, those aren't Insecticons. They look like, I don't know what they are. But, they're weird looking dudes. <laughs> uh, let's see, got Tomb Raider number 6. Just a cool Joe Juice Co. cover. Happy to find that. Uh, a couple more newer books here. We got Space Usagi number three. This is it's just the A cover, so happy to find that. I think I've got all three of these now uh, from this new Space Usagi run. Uh, I managed to get them all for a buck each from the zone, so really happy about that. Because cover price on that, yeah, five bucks. Got a cool Rocketeer book here. This is gotta open it up. I think this is like. Den of Thieves. Let's see, yeah, Rocketeer in the Den of Thieves, and it's number four. And uh, I'm sure that's some kind of variant. Uh, yeah, it's the retailer incentive. And is this, is this? Yeah, it's IDW. So it's probably the one in ten. So it's the cool Rocketeer cover. Usually I don't like the Virgins too much, but. Since this one was only a buck, I decided to grab it. Uh, next, got uh, Predator vs. Wolverine. This is from the new series. Just grabbed this one because it was a fun uh, Scotty Young cover. Looks kind of cool. Wolverine fighting Predator. I haven't looked through it yet, but I'm sure it's a good crossover. 
Uh, next we got some Moon Knight books here, just to finish out my run. I've got a couple of them. I think I've only got one or two more, two left. I got all the Stephen Platt issues now, and I got one through 25 uh, and one lot a few years ago, and then I've been picking up uh, the filler issues since then. I think, I think the only one that I might have trouble with is, uh, I can't remember what number it is, 34, I think with uh, Mark Spector's brother in it. He was, that one got hot, uh, got speculated that he was gonna be a, a villain or something. So that one's still, you still see for like five or six bucks, but I should be able to find that one for cheap. So I got 45, 46, 48, and 54. So happy to get those. Uh, next, got this Electra 3 book again, just another lottery ticket. Haven't opened it up yet to see if it is the one with the new G in it. It's worth a bunch of money. It probably is not, but you know, for a buck, that's the price of a, a scratch off. Probably scratch offs are more expensive than that now. Uh, let's see. I can't remember which page it is. Mm, looks like they're getting ready to do some sexy time. Right there. Maybe it's. For that thing. Nope, nope. I don't think so. So, I guess I should have done a little research beforehand, but I don't think this is it. So, I think it's on one of those panels where she's in bed um, that has her naked. So, um, like I said, only a buck, cool Greg Horn cover, so why not? Uh, next, got a Doctor Strange, another shiny issue from the 90s. This is uh, number 50. It's just cool foil cover there. Can't go wrong with that. And speaking of 50th anniversary issues, got number 50 for Catwoman. And that is, she is a little shiny on there. The whole issue is not. So maybe the foil is, yeah, it looks like it's the trade dress and then her costume. It's like Robocop or something. I don't know. So <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that one before. So Happy to find that one for a buck. And then the last one from the zone is Batman 497, The Breaking of the Bat. Just a classic 90s book here. Really happy to find this one for a dollar. I've, I've got the newsstand, and I think I have a second print that I've picked up in dollar bins, but this is the first direct edition with the, the flap there intact um, that, I've been, that I've found since I got back into collecting a few years ago. So... It's an iconic issue from my childhood, so very happy to find this one finally for a buck. So those are the zone issues. And then this last next stack of books, next and last stack of books, is from Great Escape. They also had a dollar sale uh, yesterday, actually. They opened up their special event room and had about 30 long boxes in there. It was a lot of stuff from their previous dollar sale, but they had, uh, that was a couple months ago, but they had some new stuff in there too, so I uh, grabbed a few things. I'll start off here with this Nice House on the Lake, a number one. Just a James Tinian book that was hot for a while. You know, it might be the something, the next, uh, there's something killing the children. So I uh, just grabbed that uh, since it was a book. Grabbed the Avengers 260. This is his first cover appearance of Nebula. So I was happy to find that. Another nostalgic book here is Boof number one. You can see it's actually signed by the um, the writer Bo Smith. Is that who this is? Yeah, Bo Smith. So Booth was kind of a an, it was a very '90s book. It was only a few issues, but that's very nostalgic for me. It came along. I remember buying this uh, when I was me and my family were going through some stuff when I was a kid, and uh, I always look back on it kind of fondly for that because it was served as a, a nice distraction to to some of that that was going on, some serious stuff that was going on in my life. So it's happy to find this one. These are littered in the dollar bins. Um, and they've got Boof and then Boof and the Boo Boof and the Bruise Crew. It's kind of like the team book of when Boof was, uh, I think he was a kid or something when that takes place. Uh, the artist on this is John Cleary, who's, uh, I really like his art style. I was checking on Comic Geeks uh, before the video to see what else he had done, but he basically only was in comics for a year or two, uh, in the mid 90s right around the time uh, Boof came out so I'm not sure what happened to him but 
Um, I really like his art style. He did the Gen 13 1 cover that's a, an homage to Spider-Man number one. That's probably what uh, he's most famous for. But uh, I feel like Boof and you like that style of art, I suggest picking him up. It's just a fun uh, 90s book. Uh, this next one was a grab from one of my viewers, uh, Sean, who uh, who was at the dollar sale as well. He used to work at Great Escape, and uh, we finally got to meet in person, and it was really nice meeting him and talking comics for him for while we were digging, and he got there before me, so he had a nice stack going, and this was one of the books that he had pulled out, and he remembered that I was a G.I. Joe fan, so he was uh, gracious enough to uh, let me buy this, and pull it out of a stack for him. So I appreciate that, Sean. Thank you. And um, this is G.I. Joe number six. This is from uh, 2017, I think. It's the Retailer Incentive cover, so it's probably a one in ten. So I'm happy to find, happy that Sean allowed me to find this one for a dollar. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I got Infinity War number one. Just grab this one because it's a newsstand. Just a cool, another Good 90s wraparound cover. Very nostalgic book for me as well. Infinity Gauntlet was the introduction for to me for all the uh, cosmic characters from Marvel. And those are still some of my favorite. And the uh, Infinity War was obviously the follow-up to that. So it was pretty cool. This was another book that uh, Sean found. He had a big stack that he let me go through um, of stuff that he had pulled out that he wasn't going to get. Uh, and this was in there. This is uh, Justice Quarterly, Justice League Quarterly number 13. I just grabbed this one because it's a, uh, a Lindsner cover. Usually I only see him doing the, the Dawn books or the um, the Dynamite stuff nowadays. So uh, I just thought that was this was a cool um, Lindsner cover of stuff that he normally doesn't draw. So thanks again, Sean. Appreciate it. Uh, next, got Long Shot number 5. This is just number five in the uh, the issue five, the six issue mini series. Uh, some good Arthur Adams cover art, and he does the interiors as well. So it's happy to find that. I only need number six now, and then I'll have the whole mini series. Uh, a couple of Star Trek books here. Got Next generation through the mirror number five. Just picked this one up because of the the photo cover. It's got the cast of Next Generation. Really liked that show, so happy to find that one for a book and it's the i don't know if i said it or not the retailer incentive this is the a cover so pretty cool another star trek book star trek vs transformers i love the the crossover books so you know i think i picked up two three and four of these uh, last year when i was there in, out in arizona so uh grab number one and i was happy about that got a star wars adventures book this is the Star Wars Adventures Annual number or from 2019. Just grabbed this one because it's a, uh, a Stan Sakai cover. I like uh, Stan Sakai when he draws Usagi, obviously. That's what he's most known for and most mostly what he draws. But when he draws the non-Usagi uh, characters, I, I like that stuff as well. And he's drawing Jax and Lando here and some of the uh, Imperial Guards there in the back. So I thought that was pretty cool. Another Star Wars book, I got uh, High Republic number one. I have the, the Stephanie Hans, I think it's a 1 in 15 variant. Uh, and then I've got a second and fifth printing, I think, too. But this was the first printing, so I uh, needed that for the collection. Next, kind of a fun promo book here. This is Superman Wonder Woman. It's still in the poly bag from a, there you go, Wendy's Kids Meal. Uh, I'm not sure what the year is on it. Uh, is there a copyright anywhere on here? Uh, there is not. No, but it looks around, you know, mid to late 2000s, I think, just based on the DC logo. Uh, I just like the fun promo comics, and then it looks like you got some kind of you know, game. These are symbols that you can punch out, so I'm not sure. There's like a little board game in there or something, so... Happy to find that still in the bag. Got a Ninja Turtles book here. This is just a Shredder in Hell. It's a mini series after Shredder died in the IDW run a couple years ago. This was the follow up to him dying. There was a five issue mini series. So just picked up number five. It's got Mateo Santaluco. He does the interior art. And it looks like he writes it as well. He's a really good Turtles artist. He's probably my favorite Turtles artist uh, of the new generation. So. Uh, I think he does the interior art on all on this whole mini series, so it's really cool. Uh, Terminator: Burning Earth, number five. This is the last issue in this mini series. 
This is cool because it's Alex Ross, early Alex Ross. I think his first book was Burning Earth number one, and then he did the whole miniseries. You see an ad for Married with Children. I'd like to see Alex Ross drawing Married with Children. But unfortunately, just some Terminator stuff, and Alex Ross does the interior art on all of this, this whole miniseries. So it's pretty cool to see him draw uh, some Terminators. Yeah, so it's kind of a fun book. And the last couple books here, we got another crossover, Transformers Ghostbusters number one. This is cover B. It's got uh, Ectotron on there, so can't go wrong with that. Got Ultimate X-Men number one, still in the poly, bi poly yeah, still in the poly bag. So that's why I picked this one up. I think I've got some of the Ultimate X-Men runs, like in the late 90s, Mark Brooks does the interior art on those, so that's why I grabbed those. Uh, but this is the... I just grabbed this one because it's still intact in the, the poly bag, and it's a number one. And then last issue is another number one, just Venom number one of the Donny Cates run that was super hot a few years ago. Just really cool uh, Ryan Stegman art in this, and Donny Cates um, wrote, I think, went to like issue 30, 35, 40 maybe. So uh, just a cool cover, and Venom's a cool character. So I was happy to find this one for a buck. And then also I saw another viewer, uh, Bryson, at the Great Escape sale. So if you're still watching Bryson, or if you're watching at all, uh, it's nice to see you again. I hope you got some good stuff. And uh, Sean, like I said, nice to see you, nice to meet you. And I hope to see you guys at the uh, next uh, Dollar Shows. They're having a couple at Comic Book World. If anyone's in the Louisville area, there's one at the end of August. And then there's one up in Florence, Kentucky in the middle of September. They all they rent out um, like hotel conference rooms or ballrooms and just put in a whole bunch of dollar bins, uh, long boxes. So if you're in the Louisville or Cincinnati, Florence areas in the next few weeks, definitely check those out and uh, enjoy some digging. All right, that's going to do it, guys. Talk to you later.